It's tough. It's a uh, very unexpected. Um, you know, we we fought uh, fought through adversity. We didn't think we had to, you know, go through that that, that much pain throughout the game, and it was really tough to go through. And uh, but you got to give them credit. They uh, had a great game plan, and they and they played extremely well. On the left, Brad. What was the turning point for you? Where you feel like you guys are really out of this one today? Uh, man, it was it was tough. You know, we we tried to stay focused. You know, 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 you know, stay in the fight, um, but I, I don't remember a point where it, it just got out of hand. It, it, you know, it slowly, you know, you know, devastated us throughout the game. And you know, knowing all the yards they were putting up and how easily they were scoring, it, it was tough, um, extremely tough. Can okay, I follow up? I mean, you knew what they do to win and to be successful, and they had done it against teams, and they knew maybe the recipe to beat you guys. How much was their talk about the way they were crossing people over and? In front of you guys, and how much was that addressed at halftime? I mean, we uh, we made adjustment at halftime. We uh, addressed the issues that we had in the first half, and uh, then they came out and beat us with something else in the second half. So it was credit to them and their coaches, and they had a great game plan, and uh, they completely beat us today. Ryan, the follow up on that: Were you shocked by anything they did, or they just executed right? You knew what they were going to do; they just executed better. I mean, I guess you could say shocked a little bit. You know, my my mindset and our, our mindset as a defense coming into this game was, you know, to to play like we've been playing all year. And uh, you know, we felt like we had high confidence, and we felt like we had a good shot at you know dominating this game. And um, so I guess we said, yeah, I, I'm pretty shocked uh, that that the outcome is like this, and and how easily they move the ball and easily they uh, made plays. Chris, it surprised you how much they neutralized your pass rush. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wasn't, you know, I was uh, worried about the coverage. I was in the coverage a lot. I didn't really know what was going up in front with the pass rush. But, um, I mean, they completely beat us everywhere. They run game, pass game, it was, you know, everyone's to blame. Dan? There was a, you know, a, a sense, I guess, maybe not you guys, but in general, that uh, this would be the year for Michigan to beat Ohio State. They were a vulnerable team. Um, does it feel a little bit like if not now, when type of feeling for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like we all had mindsets going to the Big Ten championship. We all had mindsets of being Ohio State, and, and, I, and I felt like we, we we start having that mindset after the Wisconsin game and beat them, beat Michigan State, beat Penn State. We, we were high on confidence, um, but you know maybe we got a little bit too ahead of ourselves, and uh, it's just tough, you know, coming into a game this this big of a game and, and wanting to win and you know reach our goals. It is really extremely tough. Does it feel like a step back, big picture wise? I mean, yeah, but I mean, I look at it as I got one more game left as a Michigan Wolverine and uh, as a leader, as a captain, I'm just going to get the team together and, you know, we got to we gotta finish on top. You know, I'm pretty sure we'll be in a pretty good bowl game and uh, we can't just down our heads for these next three to four weeks. We got to keep it together, practice. There's a, there's a lot of young guys on the team that, that's going to need these three weeks and um, it would be great uh, to go into the um, all season with a big win. You know, we haven't did that in a couple of years either, so. I mean, I'm just gonna take this last game in and, and, and try my best. Hey, back. I'm Tyree, being a senior from Ohio, you know, Michigan. What do you take away from this last rivalry? I mean, this I'm just blessed to be in this type of rivalry. Growing up, watching it as a little kid, and uh, I guess the the best part is actually, you know, living my dream and playing in it. Um, wish I could have got a couple wins in it. Um, that that that's the toughest part, I guess. I'm gonna have to sleep with that for the rest of my life. I was not able to win in this game. So, um, I mean, but other than that, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Last question, Brandon. What was uh, Coach Brown's message to you after the game? Uh, you know, he just went and uh, talked to every guy individually and uh, said that he was proud of us and, uh, you know, we we're a great unit. You know, he uh, loved to coach us. Um, you know, they were, they were pretty all positive in the locker room. Um, but like I said, you know, everyone's down right now.